I'd like to invite Jenna and Greg and Bryn and Rick to come down front. You guys can take your masks off. Everybody wants to see your faces, especially your face, but you don't have a mask on. Bryn Kennedy Cole, daughter of Greg and Jenna, to receive the Holy Sacrament of Baptism. Friends, hear the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember that I am with you to the ends of the age. The Lord is the giver of grace and the keeper of promises. Scripture tells us in Acts 2 that this promise of salvation is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away. Everyone whom the Lord our God calls. Is that an amen? <laughs> for this reason, there is a special place here this morning for this child. And Jesus said, don't keep the children from me, for such is the kingdom of God. Obeying the word of our Lord Jesus and confident of his promise, promises, we baptize those whom God has called. Therefore, baptism is a picture. It's a picture of how God works in each of our lives spiritually. And while we were still as helpless as a baby, God demonstrates his love for us by sending his son, Jesus, to die for our sins. God has been at work in your lives just as he is now at work in the life of Bryn. Both of you mentioned the role of parents, along with your father, who's included in that as being spiritual mentors to you. Among your responsibilities as parents are to set the spiritual foundation for Bryn's life. Don't point the way for your daughter, but lead the way by example in your lives. Baptism is a sacrament given by our Lord Jesus Christ to his church as a sign and seal of the washing away of the old life and the taking on of the new life. In baptism, God claims us and seals us to show that we belong to God. Through his wondrous grace, God frees us from sin and death, uniting us with Jesus in his death and resurrection. We say that Bryn is no longer a part of this world, but instead she is marked and is now set apart by God to be baptized by Jesus Christ to serve him wherever she goes. As Presbyterians, we do not believe that this is an act of salvation. While this child is set apart for Jesus, she will one day have to decide to follow him for herself. Your greatest joy as parents is to lead your child to Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, which is new every day. Thank you for those who have loved Greg and Jenna so faithfully, their parents, grandparents, siblings, and friends. We ask now that you would send your Holy Spirit now to move over this water, that it may be a fountain of salvation and rebirth. Wash the way away the sin of her who is cleansed by it. Raise Bryn to new life and graft her into the body of Christ. Pour your Holy Spirit upon her that she may have the power to do your will and continue forever in risen joyous life of Jesus Christ.
to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, be all praise, honor, and glory, now, forever, and ever. You're very talkative. <laughs> lots, lots of things to say today. In presenting Bryn for baptism, Greg and Jenna, do you confess your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And do you, in dependence upon the grace of God, promise to bring her up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? It's just all the evil leaving her. This is normal. You're very talkative this morning. I love it. So, in dependence upon the grace of God, do you promise to bring her up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? If so, say, we do. All right. May I see Bryn? Are you going to be... Oh, hello. Oh, I know, you're so scared. Are you still going to chat? Chat up a storm? I know, you don't like to be held like a little baby. Uh-oh. Well, we better do this. We better do this fast. We've got the arch and everything. I know. You want to go see your... Look. Look who. That's your papa. All right. Bryn, I baptize you in the name of the Father, <laughs> in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There we go. I'm sorry for traumatizing you, little one. <laughs> Rick, you want to read that part for me? Are you good? Or do you need glasses? All right. I want you to know that you are God's beloved child. May you always know that you are loved and accepted by God through the grace of Jesus so that you become a kind, caring, and generous disciple. Never forget, Bryn, that God loves you, that God is for you, and that God is coming after you. He is re relentless in his love for you just like the relentless love that your mom and dad have for you. So now to the congregation. Do you, as members of First Presbyterian Church, promise to support Jenna and Greg as they raise Bryn? Will you pray for them, teach them, and encourage Bryn as she grows in her knowledge and love of Jesus Christ. If this is your promise, then I invite you to please stand. And let us but pray as a congregation. Almighty God, giver of life, you have called us by name, and you promise us a faithful life. We pray for your child. Her life. May she sing many songs, know many joys, heal many wounds, and embrace many people in Jesus' name. We pray for her parents, Greg and Jenna. Help them to know you, to know and to love Bryn with your love, to teach with your truth, so that Bryn may hear your word and to know your presence. Touch all the families of this church. May we walk together with this family as witnesses to your gospel, as those for whom you have lived and died and reigned forever. Amen. Amen. You may be seated, and we're going to ask the family to parade Bryn around. And you had so much to say to everybody. Now you get to see everybody up close while Maggie sings uh, Jesus Loves Me. I was blanking on the song. It's so easy to remember. <laughs> but this is, this is truly a great day. And I was reminded before the service that 30 years ago, Jenna was baptized on Father's Day. And uh, so this is a very, very special moment. Uh, for them, for their family, it was great to have Rick be able to, to help and participate in this. 
So please know that we are praying for you all as a family, and we will be walking alongside you through the good times and through the bad times to encourage you in your faith and love of Jesus Christ. Thank you.